very frequently you go to the internet and over there you have questions like uh, what three items would you get or would you have around if you have to and it is a stupid concept if you ask me but uh, we're gonna do it today and uh, we have one more item I don't know if we can call him item but that's my chainsaw there welcome back to survival land well oh let me remove you it's been a while uh, more than two weeks i know we had a lot a lot of work to do around the forest parts and uh, we had some real bad luck we lost one colleague and everything so i'm not gonna talk today about that one but uh, we came here to try that one about three items so uh, i'm gonna show you what i have here and i have my dog here and uh we're gonna try to do or not here so no food no water uh, no tent and one dog let's see what we have around here all right so dog is preparing firewood already so uh, let me show you what we work with today here so this is it. We have tarp, that is one piece of item. We have, come on, silky big boy here, and we have a lighter here. We are gonna light a fire, and uh, we had actually a ton of room. Let me show you here. So everything is soaked around here. We had the rain for the past few days. Uh, not worried about the forest fire or anything. And uh, that's pretty much it. And of course I have my firearm with me because we're in a bear country. And I have my chainsaw here. Plus of course I have a small backpack there. Because I have to carry dog food and batteries and all kind of stuff around here. But all in all uh, we have only three items. That is what we're going to work with today here. So let's get to work here. Well, uh, I'm gonna explain actually every piece of item here, but although I think uh, there's no need to uh, such a huge description about the items, and over here I have my 10x10 10 10, uh, or 3x3 3 3, uh, Aquapest uh, Safari Tarp, which is lightweight, but it's also very sturdy, very good. And uh, yeah, why so? What night and knife? We're gonna get into that one. Right now we have to check what we're gonna do with this tarp here. And I haven't planned a lean-to because everything is soaked down there. So I don't want to sleep on a cold ground and on a wet ground. And it is around 20 degrees Celsius here. So summer is pretty much done around here in the mountains, okay? So I have to find a place around here, somewhere between two uh, trees. We're gonna make a shelter and that's the first task. And after it, we're gonna search for some food around here to see are there any wild edibles around here. And that's pretty much it. Uh, Dogo is here. That's a good news. Biting stick, licking his feet or paws or whatever. Uh, let's get to work here.
Okay, so we have our pole here. Uh, you can see that I left this horn here. Uh, reason for that is just to put somewhere inside here, and that shouldn't go anywhere. So there we go. Uh, now we can cover this with a tarp. It's simple A-frame and that's pretty much it. If you don't have a tarp, of course, you can use branches and some stuff around. Again, where the hell is my dog? So I heard... I heard some barking in the distance, but I don't know. Yeah. He's probably chasing something. Uh, Alright, before we put our tarp here, uh, I'm gonna also clean everything here and make it as smooth as possible because I don't want to poke my tarp anywhere. And uh, I need a few tent pegs. The ground here is pretty soft, so for that matter I don't need a knife or something to sharp it. So uh, that should work without that one, we're gonna see. And uh, yeah, we can remove later this moss here to have some fire in case we have some food. In case we don't have food, of course, we don't need fire. Uh, maybe just to heat ourselves during the night. But uh, we're gonna have fire anyway. All right, so uh, let's make this a little bit more smoother. So we're sure that we're not gonna poke our tarp here. Can I? Thank you. Well, that was a real quick ride. So shelter is done. Let me show you here. So Dogo is already inside. So I have space over there to sleep, and uh, it's really good. We have a nice weather in a second, and that's pretty much it. Let me show you. Let me give you a walk around. So you saw this pole there. I pegged it down there with no special tool or anything, and. Uh, that's pretty much it. So that is the reason uh, why you should always have tarp with you. So if you don't have money for this kind of a tarp, okay, and uh, if you do have money for this kind of a tarp, you have link in the description and the discount code is survival land for the Aquapest tarp. In case you're going on a budget, you can just simply go and buy uh, tarpaulin, or however it's called. That is a very good way to start bushcraft and everything. That's the way I started before, I don't know, 10 years ago, plus 10 years ago. And uh, you can have yourself a nice, nice shelter. You can put it in your bug out bag, in your car. I have tarps pretty much everywhere, okay? And the cheaper one usually work very, very good for the car and everything. Inside there, a ton of space. And right now, what we have to find is something to eat. Or we can try to find something to eat. Hey, Dogo, you want something to eat? He has his own food, so hopefully I will not have to go for his food. Of course not. Well, uh, there you go. You can see how it looks from the inside. And I have really, really a ton of space here, okay? I can lay in this part here, just snug inside with my doggo, and I should be completely fine. Plus, tonight it should be around maybe 10 degrees Celsius, maybe lower. But that's still fine just to sleep in the clothing without a sleeping bag. Uh, my doggo is going to be my blanket here. And... Uh, you my blanket? 
He's pretty tired in a second because he was uh, chasing some squirrels around here. There are a ton of squirrels around here. And that would be great food if you have to feed yourself around here. Good news are, I had a great breakfast this morning, so I'm still fine with it. Even if I don't eat till tomorrow, I'm gonna be completely fine. Don't worry, there's some meat reserve over here in my body. And uh, I'm gonna also show you how to do some traps in case you have to feed yourself. We're gonna see, are there any wild edibles? And uh, you want to see some wild edibles? <laughs> So right here we have wild strawberries actually, we had some wild strawberries and we're not gonna have any more if you're walking on them, come on move around. Uh, time of the wild strawberries uh, has passed so we're gonna continue but just to show you how it looks like. So this is a leaf, let me focus here to you, there we go. Right now, none of it. Uh, there was actually a few weeks back when we were here last time. There were a lot, a lot of them, but uh, there was rain missing, and they're like very, very dry. So, not some luck. So, all right. So uh, we came to get to the line of the spruce forest, and now you can see down there we have a different type of forest. And as I said, all line here. Check this out. <laughs> well, uh, this one is Leden, the Ruslaveska, and uh, they're pretty good, great eating. And uh, well, uh, you have to be, of course, pretty extremely, extremely, extremely careful with the mushrooms. Okay, they're all edible. Well, at least once they are. But uh, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this should be very, very good. Now, what you have to be careful with is also, if you have empty stomach, they can be pretty hard on you, okay? I am still fine because of my breakfast. So, I'm gonna leave it actually over here, and we're gonna check down there, we have a riverbed. Uh, maybe we can find something, uh, crabs or anything down there. In that, uh, in that case, we're gonna leave them up here. What the hell is my dog in? Let's find him, he's probably uh, already went down there for water, and you can see here, a different kind of forest. Very good. We're going to the real bed. And uh, this going through the bushes is actually not very fun because we have horned viper here. And vipers are, well, they tend to climb trees and hunt from the trees. And uh, trust me, I was bitten once, you saw my hand. And uh, that was not a fun experience. So. Uh, if you remember that fishing with with my doggo from last month, now you're gonna see how dry this summer was. So here is the river. Oh man, at least what uh, what is left from the river. And there you go. Check that out. I was fishing from this rock here, if you can remember that, and the water. It was just about here, so now you can see how low this river is. Crazy, right? But uh, summer is almost done, so we expect some rain, so this should be fine. I feel very, very soon, so. Dog of buying the water here. Well, uh, water is very, very low. I never seen this before, and uh, maybe we can fish right now. But thing is, uh, fish always go down there, downstream. Uh, there's huge lakes, so fish goes to the deeper water. But uh, at least we have a water source. I have here one bottle. I saw one over here, so we're gonna take that one and uh, we're gonna bring some water back to the campsite, so we can possibly boil it or something. But the uh, water here doesn't look good at all. It looks very muddy, so I don't think I'm gonna skip it. But uh, I'm still fine. I have still saliva in my mouth. 
my dog is uh that he's good so that's most first thing i'm gonna survive till tomorrow in case we don't get some cleaner water because this here near the coast is just <laughs> this is crazy hey doggo look here let's pull out okay. oh no 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 you're right you're right you're right you're right no no you good any fish around here no all right He's not drinking, he's biting the water. Now, oh, wherever you go, we're gonna find human trash. That's actually a good thing here because we can use this for the water down there to bring it back to the campsite over there. So these are the good ones and this one my friends let me show you here well eat few of these and they're gonna send you up there to the Elvis Presley uh, this one is a little deadly poison so we're gonna remove that one away from the campsite and uh, right now I'm gonna collect some firewood because time is going pretty fast I mean it is 7 p.m. already so we have maybe an hour of sunlight and uh, then we're gonna have a small fire, uh, prepare our nice mushrooms, not this one. That's why we're gonna remove this one far, far away. Hopefully Crazy Doggo will not find it, uh, eat it and become some kind of a zombie doggo. That's something that I don't need. And uh, yeah, we're gonna try to survive the night here. So, uh, before we go and light the fire, you can see it's pretty dark and it's getting dark pretty quickly here. Um, uh, let's go and talk about the reason uh, why you should maybe have saw instead of a knife. Now let's be clear, I said before and uh, this concept, it's always, you know, if you have to, what three items you would use? Well. Uh, let me explain first, actually you explain me why three items, why not five items, why not one item, why always three items. So uh, basically when I look at that concept, but uh, since it is very often in survival world, I'm gonna explain it for a while. Now, you have to cover uh, three main things here, okay? First thing is shelter, of course. Second is fire. And third is food preparation. I mean, with the food, uh, you have to look at water again in, in, in the same concept, okay? Let's start here from the beginning. Now, covering the shelter. Well, uh, you know that there are various types of shelters. You can choose tent, you can choose tarp here, or you can choose something to build a shelter, like you saw here. And uh, let's be clear, we could build this with just natural material here. You know, with the tarp you have some abilities to collect water and all kind of stuff. I'm gonna go to the, that one in a second here. But uh, yeah, shelter is done here. Now the cutting tool. Uh, you know that I'm a, most of the time I'm an axe guy, so wherever I can, I'm gonna bring my axe instead of anything here. But let's be clear, there are limitations to the axe, to the knife and to the saw altogether, okay? But with just the saw here, 
you can do some things much much easier than with a knife and some stuff you're not gonna do even with a knife okay it's hard to do something like this with a knife you're not gonna chop this you're gonna need a huge chopper and a lot, lot of energy so uh this one is very good in that one and uh, basically uh, when you go out there you're gonna figure out what's the best combination for you okay and uh, what i noticed in a lot of my trips is that i don't use knife much often except for the food preparation of course you can do all kind of stuff with it but all in all when you go camping is just uh, you know side tool most of stuff you're gonna use a saw or an axe but uh yeah again it depends of you but uh i i can do next time with an axe or with a knife we're gonna see it's just you're gonna just do some things different but it's gonna be just the same so we're gonna finish that over there and uh, that's the answer so first thing I'm gonna take with me is the cutting tool maybe saw maybe knife maybe an axe depends of the of course surroundings and everything but uh, that's pretty much it second thing I said if you have to cover the shelter you can do it with this but if I have to I would bring something like this okay some tarp or or tent or something like that because that way you don't need to spend much energy to build something especially if it is raining and uh, it's very hard to do it in the rain condition you know to collect natural, natural material and to build a shelter up because it will just drain on you and you're gonna be miserable and that's not good when you have tarp like this you just gonna spread it go under it you're done you're gonna be just fine you're gonna be dry and that's pretty much it third is to have fire around here okay now this time I have lighter here and only reason for that one I would go with the fire steel but uh, my kids are just playing all around my gear of course not knives and everything but fire steel and everything so I couldn't find it anywhere around my house so I have to buy I bought this one at a gas station so whatever but uh, there is a building to light fire it will keep animals away or maybe not that's in theory but uh, everything will come to check you out so don't rely on that that you have fire you know bears will stay away a lot gonna happen they're gonna come uh, first maybe not first day but uh, second or third they're gonna come for sure to check you out here especially foxes and everything now but you can boil food you're gonna make your food safe you're gonna make your water safe and uh, you're gonna keep yourself nice dry and warm there okay and that's pretty important now that's that concept of the three items of course I would add there some uh, cooking pot or something so you can carry your water and everything um, because without the cooking pot you can't cook and you can't make your water safe I have that bottle over there that's not too healthy so I would say that would be the fourth item but this thing is a three item thing so we're gonna continue with that one so let's light that fire I'm gonna stop talking right now and uh, again what the heck is my dog Okay, so best thing there ever, of course, although it is very, very wet, I, I could even squeeze some drops out of it. And uh, let's see if it burns. There we go. As I said, best thing there out there. I mean, not the, yeah, you know.
we're gonna put this water closer, but Alright, so we have kebab out of mushrooms. We're gonna leave it just here. We're fine with these shrooms if they don't uh, cook too well. If they are raw a little bit, nothing will happen, don't worry about that. But uh, all in all, I have a lot of them actually. There's pretty much weight in it. When they lose water, it will be less, but uh, I'm just a little bit hungry, okay? My dog will have his food and his lunch already, so he's fine with it. But uh, right now, time for daddy, the water is boiling and uh, I'm not gonna just remove it yet, I'm gonna, just, I'm gonna wait for this fire to get down a little bit so I don't burn my fingers on this ball and everything, so, oh man, that is pretty good actually. Well, sun is completely out right now and I can tell you one more thing that I'm pretty tired to be here and this ground is so wet so I'm gonna sleep in this part here uh, good thing is ground is not, it's not actually it's not actually too cold it's just it's a bit wet and that's pretty much it so I should be fine in point of uh, ground temperature as I said it's still summer well uh, if it was a winter of course you have to hold these bunch of these spruce branches and you can just put it down there and uh, you can sleep on it with no problem at all so uh, okay mushrooms are pretty much done so uh, let's have our dinner all right so I have my light on there you go want some shrooms not really they're not actually good for you well they smell like crap but let's see I don't get these guys who film some kind of outdoor vids and they're like yummy yeah, nature. Tastes like crap too, but uh, we can't choose at this second, so. Hmm. I mean, it's not bad. <laughs> it's not good either. Doggo. You know how it tastes when even my doggo don't want to have anything with it. Mm. <laughs> what do you think? No thanks. <laughs> Kev, you're gonna leave this for later a little bit. You agree? <laughs> Alright guys, let me remove this tarp here so you can see me. My ambient light is full on, so you can see me at the second. But I'm pretty tired and uh, oh man, these shrooms are just crappy. <laughs> well, maybe in some stew or some brew or something like that, it, it could be good. Actually, it could be great. It is actually awesome, awesome mushroom usually. Uh, but like this and the roast thick kebab. Stupid idea, uh, not very good. It's time to go to sleep, and uh, hopefully, we're gonna have some rest here. No ticks, no creepy crawlers. That's good. Time of them is uh, bye bye, so that's the reason why I wanted to do this with. Otherwise, you wouldn't see me laying around here. Not very good. They didn't kill some people here in Croatia this year, so. Uh, if something don't eat me or. Uh, Oh my god, my dog is farting all the time. I'm gonna see you guys in the morning, so hopefully yeah, we're, gonna a, we're gonna have a nice night, but so far it's fine, it's comfortable, so I'll see you in the morning.
Well... I hate more like this. It actually starts at home, it's the same way. Right, good morning guys. Dogo seems to have some issues with something up there. Hey! Well, something's probably around there. Anyway, uh, you can see the sun, the sun is coming out behind our shelter here. The night was very crappy actually. Oh man, I'm getting old actually. I didn't use the need these sleeping mats and everything, but uh. Hey! Come here! Come here! Come here! Heal! 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 He's gonna stop by to do a pee pee. Very good. Alright guys, I'm very hungry right now. These shrooms didn't do any good last night. I just... F I have some feeling that I feel even hungrier than last night. Alright, uh, time to pack up and to go to eat some real food, not these crappy shrooms. Come on, Dogo, come here. Come here. Come here. Good morning, boy. Good morning. What happened? Huh? What happened out there? What happened? Hmm? Boy. He's having a tree for breakfast, even though he has his food over there. Alright guys, so we came here to an end. Unfortunately for you, but fortunately for me, this was crappy overnight there. Because I had no sleeping gear. Not just, it was not actually cold, the problem was I had an issue with the, you know, the ground was very, very hard. And as I said, I'm getting old, so what do you think though? He's still eating a tree. Thank you guys for watching. Of course, if you want to help the channel out, you have shirts around here. Go check it out by, you have link of shirts in the description and you have discount in the description so that way you help a lot of the channel you purchase a shirt but then we have enough money for the gas to come here you know the gas prices are just crazy right these days and uh, you support him you get his food and everything so make sure to check out that one or become a patron or go down there in the comment section let me know what you think about the vet. Give me your ideas, what three items would you carry here and explain why. For all of you with the best answer, I'm gonna pin it up and you're gonna get a shirt from me. So thanks again for watching and as always, hopefully I'll see you next week. So winter's coming. That's good news, right? Have a nice one.